So another example here. And this one I wanted to put in because um, it's an important match for me personally. I had a bad record against uh, Rodney. Rodney Morris here, great Moscónico player, Hall of Famer, great player of course. We don't have to talk about that. He's a great champion, a lot of heart, but uh, his Moscone record was unbelievable for years. And uh, he drilled me on a few occasions. I didn't get picked for the 2010 team. Um, and I was a little bit sick about that personally, but 2011, I was right there again. And I had to play Rodney in the uh, third match uh, of day one. And I was really nervous because uh, I had gone through a pretty rough uh, period. Uh, the birth of my daughter was extremely long, which left me a little bit uh, in shock for a while. And nice little shot there, guys. Uh, what that meant was that uh, my game went down for a little bit and I had to go through this. This was a great learning experience for me personally. And I was still very nervous carrying that over into this tournament, the Moscone Cup. And again, I did a lot of work. I was visualizing really strongly before the event. And I got extremely rewarded in this match. Um, that shot on the one was uh, a good example. And all the little details I can remember from this, I was just, I saw everything so clear. It was really a moment of being in the zone. We talk about that in the course, of course, uh, in the course, of course. And we need a clear mind. We need a relaxed body. We have to be prepared. Our game has to be sharp. And then you get these moments in sports that they call the zone, right? Where everything is just blocked out. You're executing very easily. Everything feels automatic. And I can remember clearly that this rack for me in the Moscone Cup was a moment of being in the zone. I didn't see anybody. I didn't hear anybody. Things were clicking for me. Little carom shots like this one. I still had to judge it because the cloth is really fast i had to judge how fast the five was going towards that corner and it was a great moment i was able to beat rodney uh, six nothing but which uh he's beat me many times so it's not about showing that i could beat him six nothing but it's just about this one rack and it was a pretty special rack uh for me personally so i wanted to put it in here as an example of how things were really clicking. And if you can get in the zone in the Moscone Cup, it's a special moment in your life. Because <laughs> it doesn't happen all that often because the pressure is so intense. Um, so if you have one of these moments, it's, it's huge. And I'm five balls away. And I remember clearly in the course we talk about a, visualiza a visualization exercise that's, uh, that has to do with the bottles. And basically you uh, visualize uh, six or seven bottles standing in front of you or shot glasses or whatever you want to call it. And you label them with mental things that you would like. For instance, concentration, relaxation, uh, power these kind of things and you take these shot glasses one by one and you focus on the feeling that it gives you and I worked on that for two weeks and before I went into the arena I did this real quick you can the, the more you do it the faster it goes and I remember standing on the top of the stairs I did that shot glass exercise within 20 seconds and I could just feel the power of it and it was uh, it's just a great example of uh, what it can bring you so focused. And you won't see many of these, but a six nothing fist pump. So I ran through that rack pretty smoothly. Rodney, great player, a lot of respect for him. And uh, I put a point on the board for the team there. So good example there, guys, for visualization.